process here. So usually what I do is fill one of these things about half full, put my soil in there, fill that about half full, and then I need to get myself set up a little bit here. And is the chlorine in water bonded in the middle? Uh, perhaps, but, but not so you know this. And, and so uh, it may, uh, but, but uh, we still get a, a large extraction. And I guess if we're doing it all the same way, then, then, uh, and they're all equally biased. And it was 350 ml. Okay, so this is a little primitive, but what, what we're going to do is, is we're just going to suspend this thing. Now, when, important when we do this, all we're trying to do is kind of separate the particles and the, and the nematodes. So, important not to spill it everywhere. But also, to make sure you pour the whole thing so it's not, didn't leave a clump of soil back there that, that it didn't get mixed. So, usually I do that about five or six times. And then I pour that through of my 60 mesh sieve. And the 60 mesh sieve, the purpose of the 60 mesh sieve it's just to retain roots and uh, organic debris of various kinds. But I don't want to pour the mud. I'm, you know, I'm okay. stopping when I get to about there. And I'm going to do that. We do that two or three times. I suggest for the class just do it twice. This soil I got from outside next to the greenhouse looks like a bunch of vermicidae. But this was kind of convenient soil and that's easier to deal with when you're doing it in front of a class and uh, have to deal with something that doesn't go through the sieve very well. So the whole purpose is to, we're trying to get nematodes separated from soil particles. Okay, so let's say when we've done that, I think that would be reasonable. So that looks like more of a potting soil, right? Yeah, I think it was. It came out of a, a planter bed there. Uh -huh. But you think it'll have nematodes nonetheless? Yeah. So now we now what we're doing is uh, just we stir that and let for about sixty seconds or so. Let it let it uh, uh, spin for about sixty seconds. In that period of time, the soil particles, which are heavier, are gradually settling out. The nematodes are slightly lighter than the soil particles, so they're remaining floating. And we're going to. There, use our 325 meshes up here. So now we're using a 325 mesh sieve. Now, a 325 mesh sieve has an aperture of 43 microns. These nematodes have a body diameter of maybe 25 or 30 microns. So if the nematodes hit straight up, they're going straight through. Why don't we use a finer mesh suit? Because then we start getting part soil particles. So it's, it's there are two things we can do. We can use the uh, the, the, the 325 mesh sieve and recognize that we've got to have a certain amount of loss. We'll catch nematodes that, that don't go ahead first, that go sideways or, or at some kind of angle. But we may lose 40% uh, of the nematodes through here. We could improve that by stacking two of these sieves. So we lose 40% through, through the first one, and 40% through, you know, stack three of them. We could, you, you could get 99% of the nematodes through, but then a lot more without washing and so on. So it depends on how precise it you need to be. It's useful to wash it, to wet the sieves before you start. Okay, my, this has stopped spinning. Now I'm just going to, again, I'm, each time I'm decanting the uh, suspension and leaving the, the uh, soil material behind. I'm going to pour it relatively slowly and, and uh, gradually. Look over my shoulder here. You see that I'm pouring mainly the water with, with some silt in it. But I'm going to get here pretty soon to where there's a plume of residue in that. I don't want to get that. So I'll stop here just to show you that. You know, now what you see that stuff, I don't want to get that. Right, okay. Because the idea is to separate from that. So now I'm going to cut 
That's true. And uh, back wash this down at the bottom. Okay, so now I've got a muddy slurry that I claim is got nematodes in it, but clearly it's got all kinds of other stuff in it as well, right? A lot of particulate material. So now we're going to take that and wash it into a beaker behind you here. So I backwash it from the bottom. Okay, so now rather than the 50 cc's of soil I could have put on the Behrman funnel, I have extracted the nematodes with more or less efficiency from 350 cc, from seven times the, bin, the volume of soil, right? Mm -hmm. But I can't see through it. So I can now take this and put it on the Behrman funnel. So I effectively magnified the amount of, uh, yeah. of uh, so and on those Behrman funnels there, do you put soil directly or do you always do this first? We, we always do this first. Oh, okay. I mean, we'll, yeah, it depends on okay. what we're doing, but, okay. but our routine would be to do this okay. first. And how many Kim's wipe do you use? We use a double, uh, a double Kim wipe. Okay. So we just fold it over. You want it comes folded over, yeah. right? It comes in two layers. Okay. Yeah, so this is Shudin's experiment here. So 